Good afternoon, I'm Karen Larson. Here are your top trending stories in green country. Two billion dollars the cost to replace the Georgia Pacific plant if they have to rebuild from scratch. Bad news just coming in from the company as fire crews keep working to put out hot spots after that massive fire last night. The Muskogee Fire Department says it started after a series of explosions involving a propane powered forklift. The fire ripped through the plant that makes toilet paper, tissue and paper towels. Georgia Pacific says four employees were taken to the hospital and the damage to the plant is obviously extensive. We sent our Sky 2 drone up today to give you a better look from above. Our aerial video shows a massive hole in the roof of the building and you can see it was still smoldering this morning as we flew overhead. Firefighters were standing on the edge shooting water down through the white smoke. The city of Tulsa is offering free training in basic CPR. The classes will be held on six Saturdays from 930 to noon at several locations around town. If you'd like more information on how to sign up, go to KJRH.com. Our extended severe weather outlook shows increasing chances for severe storms on Saturday, Monday into Tuesday of next week, where we'll see several opportunities for large hail damaging winds and the potential exists this time of year for tornadoes. Uh, either one of these days, Saturday, maybe Monday or Tuesday, that's something we'll be watching very closely across the area as our atmosphere becomes moderately unstable Saturday afternoon and evening across the area and then early next week as well into Monday afternoon, evening and again on Tuesday. So a lot of weather going on the next 10 days, the next three days, relatively calm, highs near 90 degrees. Good chance for storms on Saturday, then again Monday, Tuesday and potentially the middle of next week as well. Thank you, Mike. Look for more updates at 5 and 6 in our regular newscast, and we'll bring you another update here at 630.